the beautiful lady royal analyst, and I will be diving into an important issue regarding Harry and the Invictus Games. Dominic Reed, executive director of the Invictus Games Foundation, has decided to step down after 10 years of tireless dedication. While Harry has publicly thanked Reed, we need to ask seriously. Does Harry's tribute reflect his sincere commitment to the Invictus Games? Can you expand on your analysis of this? First of all, it needs to be clear that Dominic Reed's departure is not simply a change in leadership, but also an important milestone for the Invictus Games. Reed has been a pillar of this organization, having taken Invictus from an initial idea to a global movement with far-reaching influence. Harry's expression of gratitude to Reed could be seen as a way for him to show his appreciation. But perhaps this does not reflect the true level of Harry's commitment to the organization. So why are you doubting Harry's level of commitment to the Invictus Games? The reason was mainly because of Harry's unstable presence in Invictus Games activities and the lack of consistency in his commitment. Although Harry has shown interest in the Invictus Games through statements and events, the truth is that he and Megan have gradually stepped back from key roles in the organization since they left the royal family. This is worth noting, especially when Reed, who worked diligently to build Invictus, had to leave. Harry's absence from key events and Meghan's failure to attend the 10th anniversary show a deep lack of commitment on their part. This is inconsistent with the words of thanks Harry sent to Reed. Can you elaborate more on this lack of commitment and its impact? Sure. Harry's lack of commitment to the Invictus Games is evident through many factors. The first is that Harry did not attend the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games in the UK. This was an important event, where Harry's presence not only showed support, but also played a vital role in maintaining attention and support from the community. His absence from the event, combined with the fact that Meghan has also not returned to the UK since September 2022, shows a real lack of interest in the Invictus Games. Second, the departure of Dominic Reed creates a huge leadership and morale void. Reed has dedicated 10 years to the organization, and his departure could diminish the stability and spirit he brought to Invictus. Harry, rather than just sending thanks and praise, it is necessary to ensure that there is a clear plan to continue to maintain and grow the Invictus Games. However, to date, there has not been any specific move from Harry to prove his commitment and responsibility in filling this gap. Do you think Meghan Markle's participation in the Invictus Games has changed how the organization operates and influenced the event, when the press constantly called her out for the offensive things she brought to this solemn place? As far as I know, Harry was originally the patron of the Invictus Games, but since Meghan Markle joined, the situation has changed significantly. Both husband and wife have put themselves at the center of the organization. Instead of just playing support roles as before, they constantly make unwanted speeches and do everything to attract attention to themselves. Megan, in an ill-fitting outfit and flip-flops, led the veterans, demonstrating a style that disrespected the seriousness of the event. She stopped to shake hands with people while marching, an action that was distracting and inconsistent with protocol. Harry, standing on the sidelines, just smiled and watched her do this, making no move to correct her behavior. Now, the Invictus Games program appears to have become Harry and Meghan's media show, with Harry and Meghan using it as a vehicle to promote their image and cause. Veterans, who should have been at the center of the event, were now sidelined, and the organization became an excuse for Harry and Meghan to express themselves and play royal. They have diminished the true value and meaning of the Invictus Games by turning it into a personal promotional platform, losing the respect and trust of the veteran community that this organization is supposed to serve. Service. A lot of viewers messaged me and asked if Mr. Reed had resigned from Invictus Charity because of the outrage over Harry receiving the Pat Tillman Award. Well, it seems this discontent has led to Mr. Reed's resignation. The fact that Harry received the Pat Tillman Award 
while the amount of money he contributed was minimal, made many people feel frustrated. Harry, along with Meghan, seem to be doing everything to reduce the value of this charity, while they are only focused on posing and attracting attention. Invictus is currently facing a serious financial crisis, losing valuable donations, and seemingly becoming a stage for Harry and Meghan's antics. Unfortunately, Invictus, an organization originally founded to support veterans, is now dominated by the couple's appeal. If Harry and Meghan truly cared about the organization's mission, they should have done the right thing and backed out. There would be a positive change if they did. Invictus would return to its original goals, rekindle interest, and donations would increase. The charity will be able to focus on supporting veterans who truly deserve help, rather than just being a foil to these two's fame. It is a great disappointment that an organization that should be a symbol of support and compassion is being dragged down by selfish and irresponsible actions. Exactly. If it were me, I would abandon that sinking ship too if I foresaw having to answer questions about veterans not being served. Yes, Meghan and Harry have turned the Invictus Games into a quagmire of failure and falsehood. Not only do they damage the organization's reputation, but they also put veterans at risk when they don't receive essential support. Megan, with all her pomp and ego, has turned the Invictus Games into a stage for endless accusations and criticism. Instead of focusing on supporting those who have served the country, she indulged in media games, causing the organization to lose the credibility and trust it had built over the years. Megan's cunning in blaming the organization and trying to make herself a victim only increased dissatisfaction and criticism from public opinion. And Harry, with his lack of decisiveness and responsibility, not only abandoned the Invictus Games, but also seemed to have abandoned the responsibility of a true leader. He did nothing to protect the organization from crisis, and his lack of concern for the veterans it serves is unacceptable. Instead of standing up and fixing the situation, Harry simply stood on the sidelines, allowing Meghan to plunge the Invictus Games into chaos. So, what do you think is needed for Harry to restore the trust of the Invictus Games community? Harry should resign, that's right, to restore trust in the Invictus Games. Harry should go away. He is causing too many problems for the charity and doing everything only for Harry and Meghan's benefit. Harry's involvement in the Invictus Games appears increasingly to be more personal than for the good of the organization. His and Meghan's frequent absence from important events, combined with their appearance, only when it benefits their image, has created a large vacuum in leadership and reduced stability. Organizations, instead of focusing on growing and maintaining the Invictus Games, Harry seemed only interested in using the organization as a platform to promote himself and increase his reputation. This is a clear sign that he is no longer fit to lead the Invictus Games, and his resignation may be the necessary step to ensure that the Harry's involvement in the Invictus Games appears increasingly to be more personal than for the good of the organization. His and Meghan's frequent absence from important events, combined with their appearance, only when it benefits their image, has created a large vacuum in leadership and reduced stability. Organizations, instead of focusing on growing and maintaining the Invictus Games, Harry seemed only interested in using the organization as a platform to promote himself and increase his reputation. This is a clear sign that he is no longer fit to lead the Invictus Games, and his resignation may be the necessary step to ensure that the organization can continue to grow sustainably, without being affected by personal motives. Do you think Reed's departure could affect Harry's reputation in the public eye? Sure, Reed's departure could cause significant criticism of Harry, especially as his leadership and commitment to the Invictus Games has not been clearly and consistently demonstrated. If Harry does not work hard to maintain and grow Invictus Games during this transition period, it will not only affect the organization, 
but also his reputation and image. Every success of the Invictus Games is closely related to Harry's level of commitment and responsibility in maintaining the organization. Reed's absence is not a reason for Harry to withdraw, but an opportunity for him to demonstrate his true leadership and commitment. It has been reported that Mike Tillman has been appointed as the new CEO of Invictus Games and has banned Harry and Meghan from attending the organization's events. Do you think this change in leadership could lead to any reforms in the way events are organized? Oh no. If this is true, I think everyone will be very happy, and I can only hope that this is the move needed to save the honor of the Invictus Games, which has been ruined by this couple. Heavy damage. Not only did Harry and Meghan fail to deliver on their commitments to this charity, but they also turned the Invictus Games into a stage for bland fashion shows, rather than an event honoring veterans. Soldiers, they mocked the spirit and purpose of the Invictus Games by using it as a means to enhance personal fame and obscure the true meaning of the organization. Harry and Meghan's presence at Invictus Games events seems to only benefit themselves, creating an opportunity to flaunt their image and exploit media attention, instead of focusing on the people who deserve our attention. Their actions have made the charity a laughingstock, reduced the value of the event, and damaged the reputation of the Invictus Games. If Mike Tillman bans Harry and Meghan from attending, it could be the necessary step to restore the reputation and value of the Invictus Games. It's time for the pair to take responsibility for their failures and mistakes, and removing them from the organization could be a way to get the Invictus Games back on track. This is an opportunity for this charity to focus on the people it truly serves, rather than being a stage for irrelevant personal performances. This is a very important topic and worth thinking about. Please leave a comment below about your thoughts, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss our next videos. See you next time.